classic learning targets in our school 58 uh, fashion. So we're just gonna, the kids is to pay attention and well, everybody, I guess, pay attention to how school will look different when we come back and then understand the changes to the school day to keep us all safe. I like this one. My school was closed for a long time <laughs> because of coronavirus. <laughs> oh, making many people, oh, there's honesty coming in. Making many people sick. We've been doing school online. Some people are still gonna stay home. Some people are gonna come into school. It's gonna be great. And this, so uh, I don't know, I think this was said at the, at the parent-teacher crew meeting, but you guys are only coming back on Mondays and Tuesdays. Because uh, Thursday and Friday is going to be high school and middle school at World of Inquiry, and they've got to spread out to make sure that the numbers are all good. Uh, and Wednesday is obviously still remote, asynchronous. But Thursday and Friday, we'll be doing our same Zoom meetings that we've been doing with this new schedule that we started this week. This is that <laughs> schedule. Um, so from especially from one to three, there's always going to be a specific thing that the students will be doing um, when they're in school with me or with um, we, we just actually found out Miss Martin's going to have a sub because so we are going to split in into the two classes, which makes it like a little bit smaller in the class. But we're going to make sure you guys have headphones with microphones. So you can still do your small group Zooms with Miss Wagner and Miss Martin, or me if you're in with me. But if you're with me and you're in my class, you're just going to be right next to me <laughs> doing the Zoom. Um, but yeah, we still wanted to keep those small groups. You're just going to have the, the additional support of a teacher actually right there to make sure that you're on task and you're uh, getting all your work done. And then also the fun of being in school is going to be like the beginning time during this independent work time. We're also going to be doing like a, a hybrid crew meeting. That'll be really fun. And then dismissal time is also going to be fun. We're also going to be able to go outside <laughs> to the playground. But you guys have been stuck. Who's just came in? Hello. Should I hear it? No. Oh, righty, when you're riding the bus, if you're riding the bus, you need to wear a mask at all times and you need to stay in your own spot, in your own seat. You can share a seat with someone in your own household, but you can't share a seat with your friend because we want to keep you guys six feet away. You're going to have your, there's going to be so many times throughout the school day where a teacher comes up to you with hand sanitizer. <laughs> you're going to have to sanitize, um, just like go with it just makes it so that we're all uh, keeping in those good habits and so we can still be close to each other and share things and have fun and not uh, get each other sick. So I, I know that's one of my, my COVID rules that I just put up in the classroom, which is just the teachers have like a lot of rules that we have to follow to be back in person. So to keep it so that we can stay in person just make sure that you follow the rules and you follow the teacher's instructions. Because sometimes the teacher's not gonna know exactly what they need to do and they're gonna have to find that information. So the routines might change. Just make sure to go with it. We're flexible. <sighs> have to wear a mask on the bus. And when you get into school, so Mr. Blue is gonna be at the door and he's gonna be letting kids off of the buses one bus at a time. So it's gonna be like a slower, um, release into the building. You're going to take your temperature. If you're feeling sick, we're going to send you right down to the nurse. Um, but you know, if you're feeling sick, don't come to school that day. Just do, just do your, um, Zooms from home. So yeah, you're going to take your temperature, then you're going to come to the classroom. This is one of the temperature, the thermometer thing above. And then the hand one, you just do like a fist bump into it, but they'll be teaching you how to do that. You have to take your temperature every day when you come to school. Even I have to take my temperature when I come into school. <laughs> and you also have to wear a mask at school. Look at all these lovely models we've got. 
Miss Liz in the office, Miss Sukram, Miss Pantoja, Miss Simmons. Everybody rocking their masks. And it does have to be uh, like a cotton mask with multiple layers or a paper surgical mask. Uh, it can't be a one of the, the buffs that's like a scarf that's made out of nylon because that's not actually really great for stopping viruses from getting through. And I think bandanas are also not because that's not enough layers of fabric. Um, I, I know I was just talking to my sister-in-law who works in another district and she's already started hybrid. Um, we have paper masks that are child size at school and that comes will come in handy like if you drop your mask and you don't want to put it back on your face that is totally fine we've got we've got options for you so if you come in you don't have a mask that fits right or you don't have a you know you drop it you get it dirty whatever happens happens we've got we've got backups it's got to cover your nose mouth and chin very important a lot of teachers will also be wearing face shields it's it's fine. <laughs> We're just gonna look a little goofy. We're gonna look like robots walking down the hall. <laughs> and all of the classes have the desks all separated. You got your little box. I am going to be doing um, cushions. So, but the way that's gonna have to work is you're gonna choose your cushion, and that's gonna be your cushion for the rest of the year, <laughs> pretty much. And that's gonna stay in your box, your desk. Um, so you just you have to make sure that you don't want to like switch it up because you won't be able to. You got to pick what you want and you got to use it. But I want to you know we've got Ms. Wagner who bought all of this really cool flexible seating stuff last year and we still want to be able to use it. This is an examples of the classes. This is ours over on the side here. Uh, before I got you guys also have a milk crate that has all of the stuff that's going to stay at your desk. And then like when you get in, you're going to also take out your like pencil case that you brought home and your, your Chromebook and stuff like that and bring it to your desk area. But that's like your spot, your zone. You don't have to like worry about touching that stuff because all of that stuff in that area is yours. So we're not going to have to, we're going to have to do like quarantining of toys that we all play with or games that we all play with. Um, Cause I've got a bunch of board games that we can do that but not stuff in your own spot. In your own spot, it's yours. Yeah, so uh, mask breaks will be really pretty short when they're inside. I'm gonna try to do like um, outdoor mask breaks also where we just do like a quick walkabout outside um, because, you know, just like taking off your mask for a few minutes at your desk to take a sip of water. Sometimes that doesn't actually feel like a break from the mask, um, but we can't do for that long. You will get a mask break once every hour at the very least though. And if you need it, if you're like feeling like you're hyperventilating, let us know, we'll work with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't touch your face, all right? Try not to even touch your mask that much. So when you're taking it on and off, try to grab it from the ear parts, not from the mouth parts, because you don't want any germs getting into your eyes, your nose, or your mouth. Um, we don't have a sink in our classroom, but we do have lots of sanitation stations. And we have a sink right around the corner. So even when we, like if we, uh, we have specific times that we have to use the bathroom, and if you don't have to use the bathroom, then I'm still going to have you come with us and wash your hands within the actual sink because that is better than washing your hands just with hand sanitizer all day. And it'll make your hands, uh, you know, smell less like hand sanitizer, <laughs> maybe dry up a little less. Yep, don't touch your face or your mask. And this is just a washing hands a little side. Yes, six feet away. So when you, when, when we're all masked, we can like, you know, walk by each other and, and like spend a little bit of time close to each other. But what it is, is we're not going to ever linger in someone else's personal space and like personal bubbles nowadays, six feet in all directions, <laughs> instead of just, you know, in, in the past when you could be like, you know, a few feet away and feel like you're in your own space. You really have to determine your six feet of space. We're going to practice how much 
uh, how far six feet is. Luckily, our little um, tiles in our classroom are exactly one foot by one foot, so they're easy to calculate. Do, do, do. Hello. This is what the lunchroom looks like. You're gonna sit down at your spot. If you brought lunch, you're just gonna start eating. Uh, if you didn't bring lunch, if you're buying lunch, then it's gonna be brought to you. It's gonna be a cold lunch in a paper bag. And you're gonna be able to eat, but you're not supposed to stand, like get up and walk around the lunchroom ever, even to throw stuff away. They're gonna have a whole procedure ready for you. Um, yeah, it's like, it looks like it's ready for like SAT testing, but you're gonna be able to talk to the person next to you, don't worry, we're not gonna make you be silent eating lunch. Um, also, when it, when like I come in to pick you up or when Miss Martin comes to pick you up, we're not Miss Martin, Miss Martin sub, it's gonna be, you you have to really be listening and paying attention to Miss Sikram or the other people in the lunchroom because we can't have you all getting up at once to line up because then it creates a cluster of people, especially if like another grade is coming in. So make sure you're paying attention to the adults that are trying to figure out these new routines, just like you are. And we will have recess. Please make sure to wear winter clothes. And if you don't have a coat or you don't have a hat or you don't have gloves, make sure to let me know ahead of time so that I can get those ready for you. Um, because we've got we've got an organization that's doing adopt a class and they're willing to buy some coats and stuff so let us know if you need those things but we're going to do it right after specials every day so at, like right kind of to wake you up in the morning <laughs> to get going into morning meeting we're going to go right into uh, a recess time outside and that's where you should be wearing your mask and staying six feet apart still but it's a lot safer outside in outdoor air. So what it's gonna be is if you're like playing a game with me where I know we're gonna be six feet apart, then we're gonna take a mask break and not have our masks on during that time, which will be nice to have a breather from that. And at the end of the day, we're gonna be called by grade. And it's the same as anytime we're walking in the building, you're gonna make sure to stay away from other people. Um, and be listening to directions. I'm staying on the right side of the hallway at all times, just like we're driving. <laughs> that way we won't get into any traffic jams. Oh, if you're getting picked up, um, then I think, uh, let me just read this. If you're getting picked up, Mr. Grimm, yeah. So someone's gonna actually pick you up from your room, from the classroom, instead of you all going to the back door. Um, we're gonna like, oh, we're, we see your parent, we're gonna go get you. And that way it's all good. No clusters. And then this is specific to sixth grade to you guys. Um, we have headphones with mics coming in the mail. We just got them shipped. But if they're not here in time, we're gonna kind of work with it. So if you have a headphone with mic, make sure to bring that on Monday. Um, backpacks are another thing that we are gonna get. So you, as sixth graders get to bring your Chromebooks back and forth. We trust you to do that. We have these nice backpacks that are padded that are gonna keep your Chromebook safe. I'm not sure what they look like really, uh, but if you have another backpack that you um, you wanna use for Monday, that's fine. And we're gonna get you the, the other backpacks just to keep your Chromebook extra safe. I'm, I'm actually kind of hoping that it's a small enough backpack that you can just fit it inside of your backpack. Cause I don't know, if it'll be big enough to fit like other things and like lunch packs and stuff. I think it might be more like a, a laptop bag. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm crisscrosses. Yeah. Yeah. So it can be like you got your Chromebook bag and your backpack. Um, if you have a planner, well, if you still have your planner that was sent with you on your in your learning kit, then you should bring that to school as well as like anything from your learning kit. You can just kind of dump it in your backpack. Um, That'll be good to see like what, what you need in school, what you have still, what you don't have. Um, and then after the first two days, you'll figure out what you need to keep bringing back and forth. Um, definitely a pencil case. So we got those milk crates and I put a bunch of stuff in there like highlighters and dry erase markers and pencils and things. 
but they're all free in the milk crate. <laughs> so if you have a pencil case, please bring it so that it's not all uh, gonna be rolling around everywhere. Uh, and so this is like specific needs in the classroom. We don't have any tissues hardly at all. <laughs> so if you are going to the store anytime soon and you wanna grab some tissues, bring them in, that's great. Hand sanitizer, we've got a good supply of, um, but if you wanna send some in, we can always use more. Same with yellow Lysol wipes. We're supposed to use those specifically for technology. Um, and we're gonna make sure that when we send the Chromebook home, like no one else should be touching uh, the Chromebook that belongs to your student or to you, but um, we'll still sanitize it at the end of the day before we put it in the backpack to send it home just so that it's not, we're not sending germs into the classroom. So we'll still use those yellow Lysol wipes. And I think I mentioned it in here that I'm just gonna read these off. So from nine to 9.30 and from three to 3.30 is specific hybrid time, right? Like we're not on Zooms with other remote students. So we'll be checking in on you, like you guys specifically looking at what work you need to do. We're also gonna have some fun together because we haven't been together in so long. Um, so doing some like socials and socializing, uh, playing games, doing some STEM activities. I've got like, I've got big dreams about what we can do with cardboard this year. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Um, but otherwise, we're going to try to keep to the schedule and just um, just like make sure that you have everything that you need for those things. I'm specifically thinking of book club books. Make sure that you're bringing your book club books back and forth uh, as well as your Chromebook. Very important. So like your three essentials are your mask, <laughs> your Chromebook, and your book club book. Those are very important to bring every day to school. Because even if you're not in book club that day, you are going to have that silent reading time and you also have access to a beautiful library of books that Ms. Wagner and myself have gathered over the years. Um, but our priority during that time is that you read ahead on your book club book. So yes, don't come in if you feel sick. Parents, make sure you're just screening your child and making sure like, oh, uh, checking on, fever and any other symptoms before they come into school because uh, it would just be a bummer if they, you know, they get to school all of a sudden they're saying they feel sick then they have to like wait in this isolation room for a while and that's no fun um, and kids always tell us if you're feeling sick you won't be in trouble it's just we just gotta know to keep track of it and to know uh, you know to put the process into place and to get going on it so that we keep everyone safe. And I just said here, it'll take some time to get used to this. Like, I know I'm gonna be late starting a lot of my Zoom meetings the first time around uh, this, this coming week, uh, but we're gonna try to keep to the schedule and then also keeping to the schedule when we're back at home is gonna be important to keep those routines in place. Yeah, that's all I have to say. I just talked for a long time. I'm gonna unshare my screen. And any questions, comments, concerns? What are you guys thinking? I'm excited. It's gonna be interesting. Ms. Sukram keeps saying, it's different, but it's okay. <laughs> I pretty much got everything I needed. I was worried about lunch and stuff like that, but. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna be weird. Honestly, you got any questions? No, she's good. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. What about Amaya? Is Amaya around? <laughs> I don't see her. You got a question? No. Alrighty, no, that's fair. Good. How about the charger? Should they bring the charger back and forth or leave it at home? Yes, I just uh, I just actually set up. So on, you know how the cubbies have like the skinny cubby and then on top they have like the combined square cubby. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be able to like be in control of two of the long skinny parts, which means they get, I'm gonna have them plug in their chargers there. After oh. 
So they yeah. should bring the charger. Yeah, and I figure it, you know, the Chromebook should be able to last the whole day, but I'll probably get them in the habit of plugging it in at lunch. Just okay. to be safe. And then band lessons, is the band teacher going to reschedule? Because like his lesson is on a Tuesday, but I assume they're not going to do in-person lessons. Yeah. So. They're doing, they're doing virtual lessons. I know that there's going to be, a, uh, there's going to be quite a few changes in like, in virtual lessons it's as far as schedule, because so many people, so many grades had to change their schedules. Um, so I'll keep that on the back of my head to talk to Miss Sinclair and Miss Napoli about. Sounds good. Yeah, because I know that they're not doing those in person. Right. Any other questions? Got nothing. Yeah. I'm excited. I think we're going to have a blast. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of just regular school, but in you know, an interesting and fun way. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't for the masks, it'd be awesome. I've always wanted a small classroom. I know, there's <laughs> a, so because we, you know, because we split into the two classes now for the grade, there's only going to be six kids in Raleigh Wagner's class and there's going to be, oh wait, no, seven in our class and six in Miss Martin's class. So that means that you can do more. Right. Oh, that's yeah, if you want to, if you have any other questions, we're always available. You guys have our phone numbers. Um, see you on Monday. <laughs> see you on Monday. Yeah. Coming right up. Exciting. Oh, honesty's gone. <laughs> it's like the meeting's over. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was quick. Um, who's Marissa? <laughs> Do you know a mom named Marissa? <laughs>